Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Knows. Today we are going to discuss physical control of microbes in microbiology lab, research institutes and medical facilities. First understand what is sterilization. Sterilization is a process which kills all forms of microbes, whether it's a vegetative cell, spore cell or dormant cell. Sterilization process makes sure there is no contamination. After sterilization, survival chances of an organism or a cell is one in million. The process helps to sterilize various tools, devices and equipment used in medical laboratories and research centers. Sterilization is a necessary process which makes the object totally free from any sort of contamination. Sterilization preserves the object and protects the material for a longer period of time. Disinfection is different from sterilization. All the disinfecting agents just reduce or remove the microorganisms from the surface. These agents are not capable to remove all forms of microbes like spores from the surface. Inanimate objects like table, working benches and room etc. are disinfected by disinfectants. If you want to know the difference among sterilization, disinfection, decontamination and antisepsis, there is a link above. Control of microbial growth is essential in medical field, research field, food manufacturing unit or any other place where microbes may cause contamination. So now the question is how we can control them. There are four methods, physical methods, chemical methods, mechanical methods and via biological agents. In this video, we will consider how we can control microbes via physical methods. First physical mean is heat. Dry heat and moist heat both can be helpful in control of microbes. If we are using dry heat, there are processes called flaming, incineration and hot air oven can control microbial growth. While boiling, autoclaving, tindalization and pasteurization provide moist heat which effectively kill microorganisms. Not only high temperature, in fact low temperature can also be used to control microbes. Beside high and low temperature, radiation is another physical mean to prevent microorganisms. Ionizing radiations like X-rays, cathode rays and gamma rays are used. UV rays which is non-ionizing radiation also used to control microbes. Processes which are written in orange color are sterilization processes while pink ones are disinfecting processes. Sterilization by heating. This is the most common and easiest method to kill microorganisms. But how heat kill microbes? By altering their membranes, denaturing their proteins, oxidizing their cellular components and of course absence of water kill microbes. Effectiveness of heating depends on duration, temperature and nature of microbes. High temperature for longer period of time kill more microorganisms. Heat sensitive microorganisms can kill easily. Only 10 minute exposure of heat is enough to kill them. While heat tolerant microbes take longer time to kill. Two types of heating method is used to kill microbes, dry heat and moist heat. First dry heat method is framing. Tools like inoculating loop, needles, scalpels are exposed to direct flame of Bunsen burner or sprit lamp. They become red hot due to the temperature of the flame and existing microbes get killed. Second method is incineration. Objects and materials which are exposed to highly pathogenic microbes are destroyed by incinerator. Otherwise, these may infect laboratory personnel or contaminate the environment. These materials are directly exposed to high heat in the incinerator which turns them into ashes. Materials like soil dressing, bearings and other pathological materials are destroyed by incineration. Another dry heat sterilization method is use of hot air oven. It is an electrical device that utilizes dry heat to sterilize various types of equipment and articles like glasswares, surgical equipment, metals and powder etc. It provides continuous flow of heat through blowers and heaters which kill microorganisms 
present on surface of the objects. And now moist heat methods. Moist heat is much more effective than dry heat as its penetration power is more than dry heat. It can easily penetrate denser objects and kill microorganisms present in inner areas. Substances like oil, powder and the materials which are susceptible to rusting cannot be sterilized by moist heat. Sterilization, moist sterilization can be accomplished by boiling, autoclaving, thinnerization and pasteurization. Boiling. In research establishment, devices like water bath are used to disinfect metallic devices like scalpel, surgical scissors, needles, etc. Materials are boiled to high temperature to kill disease-causing bacteria. 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes is enough to kill vegetative and dormant cell, but spores cannot be killed by boiling. Autoclaving. Autoclaving is the best method to achieve complete sterilization. In autoclave, steam is generated under high pressure in airtight chamber. In this condition, all forms of microbial life is killed. 121 degrees Celsius in 15 lbs per inch pressure is generally required to achieve sterilization. This method is used to sterilize various types of media and liquids and also used to dispose or destroy used materials. If you want to know the principal discovery, procedure, types, precaution of autoclaving, check the description box below. Tindalization, also known as fractional sterilization. In steam sterilizer, at 100 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, moist heat is given to the object, then place it in incubator at 37 degrees Celsius for overnight. If there is any contamination, cell will germinate. The next sterilization process will kill it. This cycle is repeated for successive two days. Heat labile media containing sugar, milk, gelatin can be sterilized using this method. Pasteurization. This process is used to decontaminate milk and other liquid materials. The product is held at 100 degrees Celsius for a period of time to kill pathogenic bacteria that may present in the product. This process does not completely sterilize the product. Refrigeration and freezing. Just as high temperature, low temperature can also be an easy and effective way to control microbial growth. Temperature ranges between minus 70 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius can be used to check microbial growth. Lower temperature 0 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius inhibit microbial metabolism and slow down their growth. This process helps to preserve food and medical supply. Freezing below minus 2 degrees Celsius may stop microbial growth and even kill them. The microbes which are sensitive towards lower temperature can be killed by this lower temperature. It is not a very effective method to kill all types of microbes. Radiation Ionizing radiations are excellent sterilizing agents. They can penetrate deep into objects. They can dislodge electrons from atoms and molecules and produce free radicals. These free radicals react with nearby matters to weaken and destroy it. Ionizing radiation can kill spores and microbial cells, but they are not very effective against viruses. Non-ionizing radiation Ultraviolet rays are non-ionizing radiation. Their wavelength is around 260 nanometer, which is quite lethal to microbes. This radiation disrupts DNA, thus prevents replication and transcription process, and the result is death of microorganism. UV rays are used to sterilize rooms and biosafety cabinets to decontaminate air and any exposed surface. UV radiation may be harmful for lab personnel, so it is used when no one is in the area. That's all for physical control of microbes. Thank you for watching.